So this is what comes with your High Sky HD8 transmitter module, which allows you to bind your High Sky helicopters and quads to a different transmitter. In my case, uh, a Walkera DV10. You have the the module itself, and you have some mounting tape. You have a charging cable USB. You have uh, this cable here, which you will be using for the Walkera and for other transmitters there. So we won't be using that. So that's what we use for the Walkera Devo 10. The manual that comes with it is basically a little folder. It says a few settings and information in there, but nothing basically for the Walkera at all. Now before you use this, you need to charge it with the charge cable following the instructions that are in the manual. It's one of the things that's in the little instruction pamphlet so you can make sure that that's charged uh, before you use it. First thing we do is plug in the connectors. The small end goes into the DSC connection, and the larger one here goes into the charge connection. Plug this into the adapter. Now when you turn it on, and turn the radio on as well, it goes to just the green light for the Wakara. When you first get it, it will look something like this when you first power it up. It'll cycle through the green to red to off on the uh, controller light and just the green signal is on indicating that you have connection. You can see the little indicators up here that let you know that you have that module plugged in. Okay, so we're going to bind the Devo 10 to the High Sky 70 with the HT8 module. The actual binding is with the HT8 module. First, we're going to turn on the transmitter. It comes on very quickly with the module plugged in. You can verify that it's connected there. Make sure you have the correct model. If you start up with any other model, chances are it will take off on you if you don't have the throttle hold. Uh, on because the throttle is reversed on the uh, High Sky Fly Barla 70. So we're going to go ahead and turn that back off.
Okay, so before you bind, before you uh, go to bind, go to the model menu, model select, find your fly bar less 70 that you've already set up. Very important that you don't try to bind the transmitter to the high sky before you set up the model. And the most important thing to do before anything is to set up your reverse switches so your so you go to your function menu. Go to your function menu, your reverse switches. Your elevator is reversed, your aileron is reversed, your throttle is reversed, and your rudder is normal. Very important. Under your model menu, swash type 1 normal. The rest of it you can uh, set up the way you want it. I have uh, the travel adjust set to 120 for the elevator and aileron, 110 for the high throttle, 100 for low throttle, and 120 for the uh, rudder settings. I have my dual rate set at 80% with 30% expo and 100% with uh, no expo. Uh, but you can, uh, you can set that up to your liking. I also have programmed in a, a few mixes, which makes uh, rudder uh, mixes rudder and aileron for easier turns for me. And um, there's a lot of different a lot of different things that you can that you can do with uh, with this transmitter to uh, customize the way you um, uh, the way you like to fly. First thing we're going to do is turn on the module and it's going to have two red lights on. We're going to get this ready to go here. We're going to bring in our High Sky 70 and we're going to plug it in and on the first blink we are going to very quickly turn on the transmitter. And this can be very finicky and sometimes take several tries. They need to be very close together. So we're going to very, we're going to plug it in and very quickly turn on the transmitter. very close to the make sure that we're very close to the module and we're going to connect the battery and on first blink we're going to very quickly plug in turn on the transmitter and that's going to give us our bind And uh, those uh, servos can be very jittery, but they settle down right away. So now that we have our bind established, we're going to just verify operation. And we have connection. Now, Turn everything off. Now, anytime you want to rebind, once you've bound once, all you do is turn on the transmitter. Turn it on very quickly. Turn on the module. It will go straight to the red light out and the green signal light. 
on. We will then plug in the chopper and it will bind right away and there is no no hassle after that. And that's how we do it. That's all, folks.